Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Yun and the Restless News reports Joshua Morrow, Nick Newman, may have benefited from the Les Moonves sex scandal at CBS. This convoluted story starts with Morrow's agent Marv Dower. He was also the agent for Bobby Phillips, a woman who accused Lev Moonves of sexual assault. Allegedly, Dower tried to leverage this information to help his clients. According to the New York Times, Young and the restless Joshua Morrow's agent Marv Dower was also the agent for Bobby Phillips back in the 1990s. Phillips alleged that Moonves sexual assaulted her in 1995 in his office. They met to discuss a possible acting role. While Phillips did not detail to Dower exactly what happened in the meeting, she did tell him Moonves violated her. Phillips now says she ultimately left acting due to the alleged assault. However, in late 2017, rumors started to surface that Moonves had a history of sexually inappropriate behavior throughout his career. The media contacted Marv Dower to schedule an interview about the allegations. While Dower refused to comment to the press, he began contacting Moonves, says the NYT investigation. During these conversations, Dower discussed acting work for Phillips and several of his other clients, one of them was Joshua Morrow. During this time frame, Dower reportedly landed Joshua Morrow a meeting with Le Moonves. This was when Moonves was still the big boss at CBS, which gave him influence over The Young and The Restless and every other show. It is not suggested that Joshua Morrow knew anything about these behind-the-scenes schemes or any accusations against Le Moonves. However, around the time of this meeting, Morrow's character moved front and center on the young and the restless. Storylines shifted and Morrow's character, Nick Newman, started a new business, Dark Horse. The cash-strapped show spent significant money on new sets for Dark Horse. The timing may be entirely coincidental. The Times reports the CBS board called a second emergency meeting. The first time the board met was over the allegations by multiple women against the then-CEO. The second meeting related directly to Led Moonves, his relationship with Marv Dawa, and the agent getting special treatment for clients. During that meeting, the board decided to put Moonves on leave from CBS. Two weeks later, Moonves admitted to working with Joshua Morrow's agent to get a job for Bobby Phillips to keep her from going public with her story. Moonves was then forced to step down. The young and the restless actor hasn't revealed if Dawa is still his agent. Dawa stated, I don't know how I got in the middle of this. He denied attempting to leverage Moonves to benefit the young and the restless actor and other clients. I wouldn't even know how to blackmail someone, he said, not in my wildest dreams. Yes, I did try to get my clients' parts. That's my job. That's what managers do. While Les Moonves was fired, there continue to be persistent rumors of poor treatment of women on the young and the restless set. There was Eileen Davidson's departure, then Gloria Bardwell vanished with no fanfare exit for Judith Chapman, and there was Crystal Carlyle's decision to step back to recurring status. All point to issues behind the scenes. It sounds like the real-life backstage drama is more intense than what is seen on screen in Genoa City. If Joshua Morrow hasn't already distanced himself from Marv Dawa, that move might be overdue. Stay tuned to Y and R weekdays on CBS. The world of daytime television is no stranger to drama, both on and off the screen. However, recent reports have stirred up a storm that no one could have predicted. Joshua Morrow, beloved for his portrayal of Nick Newman on The Young and the Restless, has found himself caught up in an unexpected controversy, one that intertwines his name with disgraced media mogul Love Moons. The link between the two men has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, raising questions, igniting gossip, and leaving fans both perplexed and concerned. Joshua Morrow is known for his long-standing role on The Young and the Restless, where he has become a fan favorite over decades of captivating storylines. As Nick Newman, Morrow has experienced everything from romance and betrayal to business intrigue and family drama, making him one of the cornerstone characters on the show. But Morrow's real-life persona, often described as charming, down-to-earth, and personable, is far from the tabloid fodder typically associated with Hollywood. That is until now. 
The connection between Morrow and Moonves came to light when new reports suggested that Morrow was somehow involved in the intricate web of accusations surrounding Moonves, the former CEO of CBS. Moonves, once a towering figure in television, resigned in 2018 after multiple allegations of sexual harassment and misconduct surfaced against him. The scandal led to widespread investigations, legal battles, and Moonves' eventual fall from grace. It was a story that dominated headlines for years, but recent revelations suggest that Morrow may have had closer ties to the embattled executive than previously thought. According to sources close to the investigation, the link between Morrow and Moonves dates back to the early 2010s, a time when Moonves was still the powerhouse behind CBS. Morrow, like many other soap stars, attended high-profile events and parties where he interacted with executives, producers, and other influential figures in the industry. It was at one such gathering, a lavish dinner party held at Moonves Beverly Hills Mansion, that Morrow's name surfaced in relation to the scandal. The party, which took place in 2014, was a who's who of television alight, including prominent actors, producers, and network executives. Morrow, reportedly, was among the attendees, but the nature of his interactions with Moonviz during that time has recently come under scrutiny. Some insiders claim that Morrow, who had enjoyed significant success on Y and R, may have been one of several stars who were drawn into Moonviz's orbit, which was said to be both influential and, at times, controversial. It's important to note that no accusations of inappropriate behavior or misconduct have been made against Morrow in relation to the event, but the proximity to Moonves at the height of his power raises new questions about the nature of relationships within the entertainment industry. Did Morrow, a rising star at the time, benefit from his association with Moonves? And if so, what does that mean for his public image now that the full scope of Moonves' actions has been laid bare? In the wake of these new reports, Morrow was quick to address the rumors, stating publicly that he had no knowledge of any misconduct involving Moonviz during their interactions. In a statement to the press, Morrow emphasized that while he had attended events hosted by Moonviz, he had never been in a position where he witnessed or was involved in any inappropriate behavior. I've worked in this industry for a long time, and I've met a lot of people along the way. Les was one of those people, Morrow explained in a carefully worded response. I have no recollection of any of the incidents that have been brought to light. I never witnessed anything that would suggest any wrongdoing on his part. I'm saddened by the situation and what it's meant for the people involved. While Morrow's response may assuage some fans, others are left with lingering doubts. Given the level of secrecy and denial often surrounding high-profile scandals, it's not surprising that questions remain about what Morrow knew or didn't know about Moonve's behavior during their interactions. The timing of these revelations is particularly sensitive as Morrow is enjoying a renaissance of sorts in his career. His portrayal of Nick Newman has continued to captivate we and our fans, and the soap opera has remained a major force in daytime television. Morrow's enduring popularity as a heartthrob and family man has allowed him to maintain a relatively squeaky clean image in the public eye, which makes his alleged connection to Moonves all the more surprising. If the rumors surrounding Morrow's involvement in Moonves world are true, will this tarnish his career? It's too soon to say, but industry analysts believe that Morrow's ability to distance himself from the scandal may play a key role in whether or not his reputation is ultimately affected. While the world of daytime television is often less scrutinized than its primetime counterparts, Y and R fans have shown a surprising loyalty to the stars they watch on screen, and many may choose to separate Morrow's professional persona from any off-screen drama. However, it's worth noting that daytime soap operas have not been immune to controversies, particularly when it comes to behind-the-scenes politics and scandals. If any of the allegations against Moonves are proven true, the ripple effect could be significant, not just for those directly involved, but for anyone who had a prominent role in CBS during Moonves' reign. What this scandal highlights, beyond the specifics of Morrow's involvement, is the often murky intersection between power, fame, and influence in the entertainment industry. Les Moonves, once the highest-ranking executive at CBS, wielded enormous power over the careers of actors, producers, and creatives. His ability to shape the careers of individuals within his orbit was immense, 
and it is not unusual for celebrities to find themselves in situations where they must navigate the politics of the business to succeed. For Mara, whose career trajectory may have been influenced by the industry power structures surrounding Moonves, the entire scandal serves as a reminder of the complexities of Hollywood's power dynamics. The world of television, particularly daytime soap operas, which have long been a breeding ground for both talent and controversy, is one where loyalty and power often intersect in unexpected ways. As investigations into the full scope of the Les Moonves scandal continue, it remains to be seen what role, if any, Joshua Morrow may have played in the broader web of allegations. For now, Morrow's career remains largely intact and fans of The Young and The Restless continue to root for Nick Newman, regardless of the real-world turbulence that surrounds him. As always in Hollywood, the line between personal and professional lives can blur, and it's too early to predict how the fallout from this latest revelation will unfold. But one thing is certain, the truth will eventually come to light, and when it does, it will likely change the way we view the world of the young and the restless, and perhaps the television industry as a whole. Until then, fans of Morrow and Y and R can only wait, speculate, and continue to watch as the drama, both on screen and off, unfolds.